Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application using list box control how to get the multiple search results and bind records into your data grid view control. Let's check the final results. Start. Now here we got the output. Now I'm selecting the laptops. Search. See here we got the laptops. I'm selecting the mobiles now. Mobiles. TV. If I unselect laptops, see the laptops are removed from this data grid view control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new windows application. Go to file, new project. From the windows templates, I am selecting windows forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is multiple search list box. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form 1 design window. Now in this form 1 design page, I am adding one list box control, one label control, one button control, and the last one is a data grid view control. Let's add the controls, open toolbox. I am expanding the all windows forms folder, list box. Here we got the list box here. The next control I'm adding the button control. And the third control is the label control. And the last control I'm adding the data grid view control. Open toolbox, data grid view control. Now the label 1, I am selecting that one, F4, I am deleting the label default text as well as I am selecting the button control F4, I am changing the button text to the search, enter. Now the next thing, I want to add the list items into this list box control. Before adding the list items into this control, Let's visit my SQL Server Management Studio. We'll check the table and the column names. Table name is a product catalog which contains a product ID, product catalog, product name, description, price and the product image. As well as it contains the 5 rows in this product catalog table. Now I want to add the list items of this product catalog, mobiles, TV and laptops. When a user selects, to search the records of a particular product, TV or laptops or mobiles, I want to display the selected list item into a data grid view control. Let's switch over to the coding part. Highlight the list box. Notice there is a small button at the top which is a list box task. Click that one. Edit items. The catalogs are and the products are mobiles. TV, laptop. Click OK. After adding the list items into this list box control, double click the form design. The first thing in this code behind, I'm adding the namespace using system dot data dot SQL client. The next namespace I'm adding using system dot configuration. The system.configuration namespace is user to get the connection string from the app.config file. But in Windows application, the system.configuration namespace by default it's not included in the project references folder. We have to add manually. So let's add this system.configuration namespace into our project references folder. Notice when I expand this references folder. There is no any system dot configuration. So let's add that one. Right click the references. Add reference. 
in the assemblies framework search for the system.configuration here it is select the checkbox click ok now notice in the preferences folder we got the system.configuration dll library is added let's minimize this references folder now the next step let's add the database into this server explorer data connections right click that one add connection the server name user pc after adding the sql server name i am selecting the database name sample db test connection it succeeded ok ok and here we got the sample db dot dbo is added under data connections we need the data source of this sample db right click that one in the properties the connection string data source copy the data source let's add this data source in the app.config file open solution explorer app.config file open that one in the app.config file between the configuration and adding connection strings add name my connection string name is my connection string name is my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the code behind now in the form load event I'm binding the table into a data grid view control string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the my connection string name dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to select start from the table name is product catalog copy that one paste here sql command sql com is equals to new sql command and the sql command takes two parameters the first parameter is a command text which is a sql query the second one is a connection object sql con let's open the connection string sql con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter. I am adding SQL com object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method. I am filling the data with the data table object. Let's bind the data source to the data grid view control data grid view one dot data source is equals to dt the final step let's close the connection string close method that's it we have finished it to bind the recalls into a data grid view control after that before implementing the multiple search functionality with the list box control let's check the basic output start and here we got the output notice the list items mobiles TV and laptops and the product catalog table is binded into this grid view data grid view control now my next aim is when I select any of the particular product item I want to display the records of this selected category into this data grid view control let's close the window switch to the design mode highlight the list box control press F4 in the list box properties notice the selection mode multi simple when I choose a multi simple for the selection mode so I can able to select multiple items instead of one after adding this selection mode multi simple to this list box control double click the button control label one dot text is equals to 
for each loop object item in list box one dot selected items label one dot text plus is equals to when I add plus which means I'm selecting the multiple items the multiple selected items I want to display in this label control label one dot text double equals to question mark it validates the data type is a string type only colon after that between double quotes I'm adding comma I'm adding comma between these selected items plus item dot to string method that's it we have written the code the selected items are displayed in the label control let's check the output start and here we got the output I'm selecting the mobiles search see we got the mobiles here in the label laptop comma laptop you got TV and check the mobiles now the final call what are the products I have selected into this list item I want to display in this grid view control for example here we got TV and laptop I want to display only TV and laptops into this data grid view control but one most important thing is we have to put the list items into a single quotes for example the TV between the single quotes comma and the laptops between the single quotes then only the select statement will execute properly otherwise we'll get an error so let's finish the rest of the code I'm closing the result box stop to add the single quotes between the selected list items just here single quotes plus plus single quotes that's it after that instead of writing the whole code I'm just copying this part copy this one I'm adding in this for each loop just I'm changing select star from product catalog where the column name is product catalog copy this one this product catalog contains mobiles TV and laptops I'm pasting here in plus plus now between this plus plus I'm adding label one dot text copy this one this here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the final results start I'm selecting the laptop search oops the laptop laptops let's add that one from design laptops let's check the final results start now here we got the output now I'm selecting the laptops search see here we got the laptops I'm selecting the mobiles now mobiles TV if I unselect laptops see the laptops are removed from this data grid view control that's it